Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be uh, showing you two new My Little Pony plushies that I received yesterday in the mail. They uh, came all the way from China um, and I decided to get these last week, it was a week ago today actually, um, from this Chinese seller because I was just random, randomly browsing eBay and uh, I came across this seller that was selling them, these are Ollie Factory um, plushies by the way, and this seller was selling them at half the price that they sell for here in the UK, with free shipping. So the first one I'll show you, she cost me $10.99 free shipping. Um, the other one was a little bit more, it was a couple of pounds more, but free shipping. But over here, for an Ollie factory, you'd have to pay no less than £20. In fact, the average price I've seen is about £21.60. Some are a little bit cheaper, some are a little more expensive, depends on the character. But uh, without further ado... Because if you remember... In my previous vlog, I think Monday, and before that, I wouldn't tell you who I was getting. So, the big reveal. I've got Lyra Heartstrings. Here she is in all, all her glory. She's lovely, isn't she? So that's the first one. A unicorn. The other one, I suppose I could have given the clue that she was a Pegasus. I couldn't resist. When I saw these from this Chinese seller, I just couldn't resist. And uh, you've probably noticed from my My Little Pony videos I've done on this channel that I do like these Ollie Factory style uh, plushies. The reason for that is that I know, I know for a fact I'm going to have to get certain ones here from from the UK. Uh, which is going to cost me more, but I do love them because they are pretty accurate to the character. Um, but most of all, I like these because I love the feel of the fabric. The fabric just feels so smooth. You know, they're not too soft. They're not too hard, in my opinion. To me, they feel great. I love the fabric, so to me, they are a great one, you know. You're feeling a bit depressed, you're feeling sick, and you need a bit of comfort, you know. You've got something here, which to me feels just great. I love it. Lyra, oh, sorry, I just caught the camera. Lyra here, she had a different tag on her ear, though. She had one with the um, Star Swell Academy. Uh logo and name on it and I had no idea what that was until I actually saw a post on Facebook um, apparently it's a visual novel um, I'm not really one for reading but I might look into that one day so I'm guessing that a little, maybe some of these or a lot of these were made based on that novel I don't know but uh, it's now a given I'm going to have to get Bon Bon to go with Lyra. I just don't feel my collection would be right, you know, just having one or the other. I've got to have both. The same with Octavia and Vinyl. I've got Octavia, but I don't have Vinyl. So I'm going to have to go and find Vinyl. But uh, I really do love it. And I love that little mouth they put on these. Look at that. Isn't that just cute and the cute little nostrils? I think they are really well designed to be honest. Um, some people might even say you know better than like the TY ones because they've got this tail and this mane rather than the wavy ones but what we've got to remember is the TY ones 
and even my Formosa ones are made as a toy so they've got to think about playability because obviously um, kids you know, girls they're going to want to brush the mane and whatnot and you can't really do that with this one um, but having said that these ones to me because I haven't got that sort of realistic mane that you can brush the brushable mane that's the term I was looking for makes them far better to cuddle so that's the other reason I like these because you don't have that wavy mane getting all in your face <laughs> so I want to get at least two more next week um, but I'm not sure who I'm gonna get I haven't found a bonbon not from a Chinese seller but then again I didn't look through all of the eBay pages because there's just hundreds for my little pony plushies um, but that's all I do on eBay by the way I just type in my little pony or MLP plush I actually find if you just put the word plush it comes up with a lot more search results than if you put plushy so and uh, I'll just go from there there's a lot of eBay shops you know selling various My Little Pony style toys and you may come across some abominations like I did last night that was just funny that was such a bad it was a version of Derby and if I was Derby I would be insulted that someone made that in my image <laughs> that was bad <laughs> um, anywho you know there's just such a lot to choose from and if you search and you're willing to bid because there's a lot of private sellers on there as well you know with auction style um, listings so you bid um, you can actually pick up some bargains hello Nemo random cat in the video Um, he has been really sort of cuddly today, which is unlike him. Anyway, um, maybe he's jealous because I keep cuddling my plushy ponies. <laughs> um, there's a few other characters that I really do want to grab sooner rather than later. Apple Fritter, one of Applejack's cousins. Um, a background character, a background pony, but the Ollie Factory does one of her, and I do like her. I do like. It's, I wish they would um, perhaps do an episode with Apple Fritter there, um, in a speaking role maybe, because uh, I do like the hair or the mane, you know, the green mane with the little red bows in the end and her tail has got one as well um, hearing things in the background now yeah I'm just you know I've lost a thread now <laughs> sorry about that um, yeah that was it um, Apple Fritter would be one but I've not found one of her from a Chinese seller yet so may have to pay full price which I don't mind doing um, yeah I'm just trying to think if there was any what the Cutie Mark Crusaders I have found those from Chinese sellers that is tempting because I could get all three at the same time you know and I wouldn't have to worry about getting like I don't know Scootaloo one week Sweetie Belle the next week and uh, Apple Bloom the following week especially if I'm buying from China I'd rather get bulk like I did with these two with um, Derpy and Lyra down here you know I'd rather get multiple 
because otherwise it'll take forever. <laughs> Especially postal wise, you know, it's a, six days and then maybe one which, you know, might take a bit longer. Well, I suppose it depends when the seller posts them as well. But they were marked as shipped the same day I paid for them. Well, actually, it was the early hours of Thursday morning I paid for them. and Because I paid for them before I went to bed. And by the time I'd woken up, they'd been marked as posted. So, um, But this seller has still got Lyra and Derby for sale. He's still got some in stock. Um, he's also got Rarity and Rainbow Dash and a few other main characters. But... I want to concentrate on getting some of the um, background characters first because uh, between my Builder Bear and my Famosa over there on my cabinet I think I've got enough of the main characters for now although I don't have Shining Armor or Big Mac or Brayburn those are three more characters that I know the Ollie Factory does I will get those eventually. I do want to get... Well, my aim is to eventually get every cuddly pony the Ollie Factory has done. I know it's going to cost me an arm and a leg over time, but I really do like these. I even want to get the characters that, I'm, you know, that aren't my big favourites, like um, Cherry Jubilee, uh, might even consider King Sombra just to add him to the collection. Just to make it complete. I've got Chrysalis. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to keep my eyes open on eBay because sometimes these Ollie factories uh, come up as uh, from private sellers and I can get them a bit cheaper. So, that's one reason I use eBay, because I can get things a bit cheaper. I'm on a tight budget. Anyway, I think I've rambled on enough about My Little Pony in this video and my two new editions. Oh, I've just realised, I've got Derpy. I've got to get Dr. Hooves. I can't have Derpy without Dr. Hooves. According to the show, they are just friends, but you know what fans are like, they ship them. <laughs> um, same with Lara and Bon Bon, they're shipped in the fandom as well. And um, Vinyl and Octavia. There's a lot of ships. Ship, 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 ships. I see a lot of that on um, Facebook groups. Actually, not so much lately. It seems to have quietened down on the ships. That just seems to be like bursts of things. Anywho, I'm going to end the video here. So thanks a lot for watching. And I will uh, talk to you all in the next video. Bye-bye.